just enjoyed getting back into the production process it's been a while since i've been on stage and i just forget i or i had forgotten just how invested you can get into theater how it just kind of takes over your mind and you forget about everything else and just that way it just encompasses your life i've enjoyed that the usual thing to do as an actor when you come into a production get cast in a role to count your lines to see how important a character you have and kind of judge your 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 performance from there and it's a, a habit a lot of people fight coming into any process and I think a lot of people do a great job of of making the whole play be about the play not just about the character you're playing and the the fun challenge of creating a character who's only seen for maybe at most you know two minutes for each person um, and give them an offstage personality and offstage life that for those two minutes people can see and judge the character from there and say, yeah, that's a, that's a full person. That's not just a piece of scenery coming out and speaking a couple lines and fading back to obscurity. So that, that challenge and um, getting to see everybody else and what they bring to their characters and getting inspired by some of these um, talented actors we have who take these huge monologues of old British dialect and dialogue from an, an Arthur who really works well as a, a writer and as a playwright. You can see all the pieces of his um, ability as a writer, but talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and to watch other people be able to take those words and make them interesting, relatable, um, has really inspired me to work more with my, my own smaller parts and make sure that I'm adding to the cast. I feel like I'm much earlier on the path of my acting years than a lot of people, and they've done so many shows with so many different people, and seeing so many different acting styles, directing styles, it's very interesting to see people's interpretations of things and learning from people, whether it be in improv or on stage. I admire everybody that I'm working with immensely. And I'm learning new things and how I can do things in a different way. And that's really what I've enjoyed most is learning from everybody. I'm actually really not a people person, per se, but um, I'm going to say it. I love everybody in this cast. This is probably, um, this cast is probably top of my list of favorite casts because um, everybody's so talented. Everyone's so kind and nice. And I really liked um, when um, our first few rehearsals, we, we got together and actually had to get to know each other, like, kind of intimately because it, I, it, I feel like it really, really helps with getting into character. Um, I've never seen anybody else do that before um, in an act, you know, um, in a show. So that was really cool and I hope that I do another show that does that or maybe I can bring it to there because th I feel like that's really helpful. Uh, it's been a very uh, enjoyable production uh, from end to end pretty much. Um, with the cast, I don't think I've ever worked with a cast that has is this has this much talent and this little ego. Uh, in that combination, nobody is a prima donna. Nobody is is here for personal glory. Everybody is working with everyone else and doing whatever they can to make sure everyone succeeds. And that's just really nice, and I think fairly rare in any level of theater. Uh, and then on the production side, uh, the rehearsal process has been great. It's been very unconventional for my experience in community theater with uh, a lot of pairs rehearsals that were not script-based uh, but were somewhat character-based. included improvisation and um, a lot of personal knowledge being shared. Uh, and I think it really fostered respect and um, connectedness among the cast. Well, instantly, uh, uh, what comes to mind is uh, some of the, the warm-ups pre-rehearsal, some of the improvs and, and things that we've done to sort of um, 
well, I see it as a way of getting to know and breaking down, you know, the sort of actor meeting kind of things that go on uh, bet you know, between strangers. I mean, ba I mean, we're all actors, but we're also pretty much, except for a couple of people, I guess, you know, pretty much strangers. And it's been, it's been fun just watching and being a part of um, uh, the, the sort of improv things we've set up. Uh, one <laughs> great moment for me was that we did an improv where, um, oh, the situation, it was uh, me and uh, two other girls, and the situation was, no, three, uh, two, three other girls, and it was a birthday party. And uh, we were supposed to be uh, in K British character, in you know the characters we were playing. And I guess I sort of forgot that part, and sort of turned it into a, the whole thing uh, eroded into this drunken <laughs> uh, kind of Roman, I don't know, uh, <laughs> brawl uh, at the end. Of it. But it was really, but my favorite part was and the the costume and movement instructor she was leading leading the thing and and what she was trying to get us to do was improv but do it <laughs> of course we the look on her face after it was over uh, was priceless because she she was trying to get comments and stuff afterward but that one there was she just said, I don't know what to say <laughs> so I mean that was it and it was my fault I completely forgot to, to be in sort of uh in that kind of character, in the, the sort of Oscar Wilde character, but I just had I just had a blast doing it, and the, with the the other the other uh, people in in the scene, I think we all we all had a riot doing it, and and all of them that evening uh, were great fun to watch, and even just watching you you uh, learn learn a lot about people, and it just it just frees things up so that. You know, it gets rid of all the sort of awkward conversations that you, ha you sort of go through while you're waiting to go up on stage and act with somebody. And then by the time you're actually doing lines from a scene with somebody that you've clowned around like that with, or even been it, even if it's a serious improv or something like that, all of a sudden you're you're talking to this being, this this, um, and reacting freely with someone else rather than the cutting through the whole, oh, I don't know you, I don't know me, and it just, it cuts the process down so, so much, and we don't have a lot of time anyway. So I think, I think people really gained uh, uh, a, a lot of it. I mean, I've enjoyed the other, I've enjoyed working on the, the, the movement and the language and the, the accent and the, the, the acting, you know, and, the, and uh, the director's been, you know, really good about, you know, using time and, and making us all comfortable within within that realm but i think the process of the improvs and the, and the, even the warming up vocaling vocal exercising and stuff uh, beforehand and you know just uh, sort of spitballing around with each other has really made the process that much faster and just just we're all human beings up on stage now and not uh you know people worried about themselves and automatons and saying things but yeah so that's in a nutshell <laughs> my favorite <laughs>